I'm really nervous for grad because I'm a psycho, secretly. I'm gonna step on it. Because <laughs> it's not that much of a secret. is literally tomorrow and I'm pretty nervous. But I'm also excited, like literally the end of an era, even though I feel like the end was when I moved out of my apartment. I also filmed that, I vlogged it on my phone, so I'm gonna edit that, but these are my nails. They turned out so cute. They started off short like this and then I put poly gel extensions on them. Then I trimmed and filed them. Painting them with two colors. The first one is this pale purple called Just the Way You Arctic. The smoothest, creamiest nail polish I've used in a while. I painted every couple nails for the asymmetry vibe. This pale yellow color is called Atelier at the Bay. This one is a lot thinner but also stickier, so I'm definitely gonna need a couple more coats. More asymmetry for the other hand, but I skipped different fingers and the final step for the nails, cuticle oil. Do not not underestimate cuticle oil it turns the nail job from good to great and make sure you massage it in i finished my nails purple and yellow because my school colors are purple and gold i said that so weird my school colors are purple and gold and i'm going to my grad tomorrow i also did my hair for it i'm gonna enter some footage but it was vertical so turn your phone or <laughs> i'll just make it a skinny one or i can even put it right here I'm really nervous for grad. Why am I not filming as I crochet? I am crocheting a little bag for it and it's purple and white. Also, look at how freaking tangled the yarns are getting. But instead of untangling it, I'm just going to crochet around it because I'm a psycho, secretly. Because it's not that much of a secret. I meant to get a faculty sweater because I've been wanting one since like first year. I still have not got one, so maybe tomorrow I'll get one. Maybe I can say that's a grad gift. My mom asked me what I want and I don't know anything that I want other than a paint by number. Technically, every time I do art, I'm basically making my own paint by number. I want to do a hand watercolor painting for my friends because it's our hands. It's a really, really sick photo. I'll insert it right here. Yeah, in my mind, I was gonna be finished it by grad so I could bring it because she's graduating with me. If you follow my TikTok, you've seen her on there, but um, I didn't end up painting that one yet, but I am going to bring her a little plant. She's in love with Kathy, and Kathy pops babies out like crazy, so propagated a little one, and I'm trying to get it rooted right now. I'd meant to put it in a couple days ago, so I hope that the roots are still juicy enough to collect the water. Uh, yes, I do know how plants work. I studied plants in university. That was part of my degree. An honors bachelor of science in biology as well as psychology, as well as a minor in chemistry. So I'm a little bit of a nerd, but <laughs> I'm okay with that, I think. This is how it's looking. It's this size. It is 8 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I've done 11. I just to finish the last row off to the handles and then basically do the skim and sew them together, then finish the handles. I freaking love crochet. When you do things that you feel connected to, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. It just makes you feel good. Okay, now I'm doing the back I have a lot to say, and this is some of it. I feel like I might just like make painting or crochet videos and then just talk over them. I'm really, really excited to be sharing my ideas. And then I'm like, well, if I like this and there has to be somebody else that likes it, that's also how I feel about like my crafts and like my art and stuff. Cause I kind of want to, I want to sell my art, my painting, stickers, crochet. Crochet is apparently so difficult that machines are not able to do it. But I'm not a machine. So here are the final results of the bag that I've crocheted for my grad. Graduation day, it was still dark out when I woke up because I had to get up super early to shower and get ready. This is what I was wearing, a little black dress. And then we left really early and it basically rained the whole time. I did not bring a jacket or a sweater or anything. But when I went inside, I got my card and 
I was really nervous. There's me walking in to go take my place, sitting down, and the ceremony started. Then when we really got lined up, I was so nervous, but I was ready to cross the stage. Julia Grace Ferguson. I have no idea who this lady is, the chancellor I think, but here's my picture. Then I had to take a bunch more pictures because that's what people do at grad, even though I'm really shy of being photographed. I got some pictures with my friends who graduated on the same day as me, some with my family, my mom, my dad, my sister, some that I took for myself. I'm gonna step on it. <laughs> Just because you can. Yeah. Let me explain that. At Laurier, there's a rule where if you step on the hawk, you have to kiss it. But who will stop me? I'm an alumni. My last walk through the science building where I spent the majority of the past four years of my life. Then we started our wet and rainy journey back home. But this time, we had snacks. I'd never tried these before, but they were pretty good. Then back at home, we had a little grad party with some of my family members, and this is one of my favorite cousins. She makes me laugh so much. This is a dance that I'm dedicating to this queen right No! <laughs> and that was my grad. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. Thank you for making me less nervous. What is- oh my god, it's my bed sheet. Why is it like that? Why did I make my bed like that?